Hi everyone, in this task you will be swapping variables. So the program task description says write a program that takes two numbers from the user, stores them inside variables, and then swaps the var uh, variable values in two ways. So you need to come up with two different solutions. One, by using a temporary variable. I'm not going to provide you with more info. Two, by not using a temporary uh, variable. And then, uh, at the end, display the results to the user. Pause the video. You're going to see my solution after three seconds. So, how was the task? I'm sure you did awesome. So first, we need to grab uh, numbers from the user. So we're going to say int input. We basically, whatever the user provides, the uh, values, we, we want to swap those. So it, uh, they, they may be numbers, they may not be numbers, and we do not care about what the type is. So instead of just doing int, I'm just going to say input. So whatever the user inputs. And I'm going to say um, enter a value or whatever you can say enter a word enter a value whatever the user wants to enter um, yeah I'm just gonna keep it at that and I'm gonna say this is gonna be y and it is gonna be enter enter first first value enter second value all right so now First off, I'm gonna share. I'm gonna say that I need to take a look at these uh, user inputs uh, before actually swapping them, and then after they are swapped. So um, we are gonna say before swapping, and let's grab uh, the. I'm gonna say first, uh, first, first. Come on, first value is going to be equal to x and and let me just copy this entire thing let put it there second value is going to be equal to y perfect i'm not really sure about what i've written here so enter anything i, I could say anything so i'm going to say anything and i'm going to change this with uh, anything as well so let me just add an H here so first this is a little bit fun so first anything and second anything so this is going to be before swapping and then we have our approach one which is going to be let's using a temp uh, variable so how can we use a temporary variable? Now the temporary variable is going to hold the value of one of these inputs and then swap it and then return it. So we're going to say temp, I'm going to set it to x first, and I'm going to set the x to y, and then finally y is going to be equal to temporary. So the value of x is stored within this, and we set the value of x to the value of y. And then the value of y is going to be set to the value of temporary. So we store the value of x within this temporary. We change the value of x to the value of y. And, the, and eventually we change the value of y to the initial value of x that we had. I'm sure you're not getting confused. So let me copy that print statement. I'm just going to say after swapping. Uh, first anything is going to be x and second anything is going to be this. So let's save all of this. Let's run our code. We could basically write anything. So I'm going to say movie uh, fluff. So before swapping, the first one was movie and the second anything was fluff. After swap, swapping, first anything is fluff, and second anything is movie. Uh, I could provide these inside quotes as well, just to distinguish them a little bit further. So let's let me say movie news. So we have movie news, and then we have news movie. Okay, I should do it here as well. Perfect. So this is the first method. I'm sure this was very simple. Now let's talk about the approach number two. 
and it is basically not using a variable let's comment all of this out and this is very simple so we grab x and y we set x to y and we set y to x very simple and i'm just going to copy that line put it here and comment it let's run this code let's say clear so i'm going to say first second so first anything is first second anything is second and then we have first anything second and second anything first that's it for this task see you in the next one